Hi, my name is Grant, and thank you for watching the NX Series product lineup video. In this video, we will discuss the overall options available with the NX Series and how to reach some of the general specifications. So the NX Series is an AC servo motor which includes both a motor and a drive. It's available in a 42, 60, 80, 85, and 104 millimeter frame size depending on the wattage and also whether or not you're using a gearhead. We have 50 watt, 100 watt, 200 watt, 400 watt, and 750 watt options available. We also have with or without magnetic brakes. Magnetic brakes are typically recommended for any type of vertical lifting application. The power input is available in single phase 100 to 115, single phase 200 to 230 volt AC, and also three phase 200 to 230 volt AC. We have two types of gears available, the PS planetary gear or the PJ planetary gear. The PJ planetary gear is only available with the 750 watt motor. We also include uh, three meter length cables. When looking at some of the general specification, um, the first thing to note is the rated speed of 3000 RPM. The NX does have a maximum speed of 5500 RPM. We have a rated torque and then a maximum instantaneous torque. The rated torque can be operated in continuously, while the maximum instantaneous torque can be run in for a limited amount of time. The resolution of the encoder is 100 to 100,000 with the factory default setting of 1,000. It uses an absolute type encoder. Also note, we have rated input currents listed at the bottom of these specifications. Depending on the uh, voltage and the size of the motor, the, the input current may vary. We also list the electrical specifications of the, the magnetic brake. When sizing a motor for an application or selecting a motor for an application, try to uh, size for the continuous duty region. Note that as the speeds increase past 3000 RPM, the torque does drop. The limited duty region can be operated in, but only for a limited amount of time. So this should be only factored when, say, accelerating or deaccelerating. The first line is the continuous duty region, while the second line is the maximum instantaneous torque, or limited duty region. Also, when looking at torque speed curves, understand the difference between permissible torque and maximum instantaneous or maximum torque when looking at a gear type motor. The first line again will be the continuous duty region, and then underneath the second line will be the limited duty region. Again, uh, use only sparingly when accelerating or deaccelerating. Now the unit can run in the limited duty region for a certain amount of time, but that depends completely upon the amount of overload factor. When, say, running at 125%, you can run in this range for approximately 10 seconds. When, run 100, when running 300% of the rated torque, you can only run in this range for approximately 0.5 seconds. And that's noted on this overload detection time chart here. As the load factor percentage increases, the time allowed decreases. Now, all of the units are available with round shaft types with or without electromagnetic brakes. Also note, the 400 and the 750 watt are only available in 200 to 230 volt three phase. Torque range varies depending on the wattage. We see that the lowest, the smallest motor will generate 22 ounce inches of rated torque, and the largest motor will 
generate 330 ounce inches of rated torque. One thing to note is the introduction of the PJ gear type motor. This is a high strength type planetary gear utilized with the 750 watt motor. One thing new is that we do use a non-backlash type flexible coupling. We needed this to allow higher torque transfer into the gearbox. Also note that it uses a high strength type thrust bearing on the front side of the motor. And we do use the high strength planetary gear non-backlash scissor design similar to that of the PN gear style. So this PJ gear does have a very low backlash rating. Other features of the gear, including a tap on the end of the shaft. Also, we included a tapped key. So if you want to mount something to our, our in, thread in a, a bolt for the key, or you want to thread it uh, low directly onto the end of the shaft, it is possible. We also included a mounting surface here on the output of this uh, gear, which rotates as well. So directly mounting a table is possible onto the end of the gear. Also, uh, we use through holes for the mounting surface, so you can thread or bolt onto either side, which where some of the other designs you're limited to just one side. So the planetary gear, the PS, is available in the 50, 100, 200, and 400 watt. The output torques vary anywhere from 85 pound inches um, or excuse me, 19 pound inches up to 680 pound inches. And with the PJ gear available in the 750 watt, the torque varies from 250 to 1260 pound inches output. The ratios available will be 5, 10, and 25 to 1. If you have any further questions, feel free to call us at one 800 468 3982 or email us at tech support at orientalmotor.com. Feel free to watch other product videos concerning the NX series. My name is Grant and thank you for watching.